Hello! How are you guys doing? Trust you're doing well, you're happy, you're smiling. Welcome to this year's virtual property show hosted by Private Property. My name is Leroy Slava from the Property Academy and I'll be taking you through a quick presentation today. So I trust you guys are enjoying the speakers, you're enjoying the event, you're learning a lot, you're getting a lot of value. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do today, Take you what, show you what I'm doing, show you what we do at the Property Academy and at the South African Property Investors Network. So I think let's get straight into it. So as I said, my name is Leroy Slava, right, and I'm from Boxburg. Hope you guys know where Boxburg is. It's on the east end of Johannesburg, Ekuruleni, right, and I'm educated in property and business. Right? I went on a workshop with the Property Academy that allowed me to buy a lot of properties, in a short space of time. Right? I'm a professional property investor. What that means is the properties that I buy and I sell and the properties that I buy and I rent pays for my lifestyle. Hope that makes sense, ladies and gentlemen. Right? I'm a business owner, right? I'm a property coach and what I do is I help investors that are starting out in property that want to buy their first, second, third property and I also help investors who already have a portfolio to grow that portfolio. Okay, and, and, and ladies and gentlemen, I just want to be the best version of me, okay? I don't want to compete with anyone. I don't want to be better than anyone. I just want to live out my God-given potential, okay? So what I'm, what I'm going to do today is, and, and, and it wasn't always this day, this way. I was actually a drug addict for about 10 years. Yes, I wasn't always this sweet, handsome guy that you're seeing in front of you right now. I was actually a drug addict for about 10 years, okay? So what I'm going to do by the end of this presentation is I'm going to put a link up where you can register for a free webinar, a free live webinar, where I'll take you through my journey from being a drug addict, going to the sheriff's auctions, buying the wrong property twice, yes, buying the wrong property twice, to going and doing developments, right? We'd like to hear about that, guys. So, so stick around, okay? Now, this is a few pictures I've got up here. Um, the top picture, top left picture was me. I was a finalist for the Investor of the Year last year for the big leagues. Um, the middle picture, that's me with my coach, Andrew Walker, who's also the CEO and the founder of the Property Academy and the South African Property Investors Network. Um, that's me on ACBC News. And the one on stage with the white shirt is actually before lockdown, just before lockdown, we were successor resources at Gallagher State where we had the opportunity to speak to about over 500 people. So that was exciting. Um, yeah, now we, we're online, we're virtual, eh? So the world is changing, ladies and gentlemen, and we're changing with it. That's me on the SABC News. So sometimes I get called in to share my story, to share my journey, to share some expertise on property, um, on the market, and, 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 and on what I've done in the property space. So I've been on most of the radio stations, most of the TV um, shows, newspapers, Business Report, 702, um, Radio 2000, Power, um, SAFM, SABC News, Metro FM. So I've been on almost all of them. So I get called in to share my expertise, to share my knowledge, and to share my journey. Um, and just to encourage people um, to get into property or encourage people that are reading property. Okay. This is quite exciting. This was me 2016. Robert Kisaki was here with his, with his tax consultant, Tom Wheelwright, and I had the opportunity to travel with him, to share the stage with him. We went to um, Santa Convention Center where there was about over 30,000 people there. We were at the ICC in Durban, about 2,000, Cape Town, also about 2,000 people there. So, so that's quite cool, ladies and gentlemen. So I had the privilege at the time to travel with him, share the stage with him, which I thought was quite cool. Okay, right? wasn't that cool? Okay, now I want, let's see if you agree with this statement. Right? I am 100% responsible for the creation of my own financial future and personal destiny. Who agrees with that? Ladies and gentlemen, you are 100% responsible for the creation of your own financial future and personal destiny. And what most people do is we put it on someone else. Okay? First, we put it on our parents. Right? If they had just done that, then I would have been there. If I was just born there, things would have been so much better. We put it on the government. Eh? Uh, we love that one, the government. Eh? We love blaming. So ladies and gentlemen, 
I want you to know that you are 100% responsible for the creation of your own financial future and personal destiny. And let's not put on anyone else. Right? We need to take responsibility for our own lives. And I think 2020 has shown us that. Right? That we can't depend on a boss. We can't depend on the government. We can't depend on a company. Right? We need to educate ourselves financially, especially around property, because that's what we're talking about here. So we can start investing and start creating a second, third income and become independent from these places and people. Hope that makes sense. Okay, now you're probably saying, Leroy, now why property? Why property? Why not something else? Why property? Right? Because property is real and tangible. Right? You can touch it, feel it, hug it, kiss it. It's a real asset. If your properties are close to you, you can go by and take photos of them and put them on Instagram, wherever you want. So it's a real intangible, it's a real asset, right? It provides leverage. Property is one of the only assets you can get leverage at 100% using other people's money. It's unlimited wealth and security. There is no income ceiling in property. Are you guys with me? In some of your jobs, your careers, whatever it is you do, there's an income ceiling. Okay? You've got this job, you've got this degree, someone in that job gets paid this much per annum. There's an income ceiling. That doesn't happen in property. If you want more money in property, what do you do? You buy another property. If you want more money, what do you do? You buy another one. If you want more, more money in property, what do you do? You buy another one. You learn at once, right? You get the knowledge, you get the skills, and you keep learning, and you do it over and over and over again, year in, year out. Right? There is no income ceiling in property. Okay? And it cash flows. I believe that property is the quickest way to your financial freedom. Yes, I said it. I believe property is the quickest way to financial freedom. Right? I'm going to show you in this webinar where one, two, three, four, five properties can change your life forever. That one deal can change your life forever. It has, it has with me. And I'm going to show you where I went from a drug addict to buying the wrong properties to eventually doing over 30 deals and now doing um, inner city block of flats and doing developments. Okay? And if I can do it, then you can do it. And it's accessible for everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone can do it. You don't need a degree. You don't need a doctorate. Right? I don't have a degree. I've got my trick without maths and science. <laughs> So ladies, so ladies and gentlemen, if I can do it, then anyone here can and should do it. You can build a legacy. The properties that you buy now, and, and property is long term, ladies and gentlemen. The properties that you buy now, right, you can leave to your children and they can leave it to their children. And that's what rich people do, is they pass down the assets and they pass down the knowledge. Right, and every generation just adds to it and adds to it and adds. So you can build a legacy that your children do not have to go through the same struggles that you went through. Does that make sense? The Bible actually says, he says, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. So you can build a legacy. And it's tax efficient. The government gives us a lot of, gives investors a lot of incentives for investing in property. Why? Because we are helping them create housing, create accommodation, which is a huge shortage of in South Africa. And they can't do it. So they give us tax incentives to do it for them and to help them. Make sense? Okay, that's why property. Rule number one, write this down. In property, you make your money when you buy. Write that down. That's important. You, in property, you make your money when you buy. Not when you sell. A lot of people think you make your money when you sell. No, you make your money when you buy. You want to buy it right the first time. Are you with me? So what does that mean? That means firstly, you want to buy below market value. Make sense? So you want to buy equity. And then you want to buy that property for the amount of money it's going to pay you each month. So you want to get paid from day one. You do not want to wait four, five years, ten years for a property to break even and then only you start making money. Who says you're going to live that long? Okay, that's a joke. It's a joke. It's a, it's a joke. Sorry, it's a joke. It's a bad joke, right? So, so, so you want to make sure that that. You make the right decisions before you buy the property, right? That, you, that you've done your calculations. You've worked out your cash flow. You've worked out your profit. You've worked out your return on investment. You've worked out your yields. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? And that's what we're going to show you. And that's what I want to show you on this webinar. And that's what we're going to show you at the Property Academy is how to buy the property right the first time. Okay?
Make sense? So that's important, ladies and gentlemen. In property, you make your money when you buy, not when you sell. Okay? And that means even if we, whether you're buying it for cash flow, you want to know what your expenses are, what your cash flow. Whether you are buying and flipping properties, you want to know what your costs will be. Right? Your buying costs, what your selling costs will be, so you know how much your profit will be. So you're not surprised and you don't, don't make the mistakes. Right? So that's rule number one. That's important. In property, you make your money when you buy. Okay, now on this webinar, now I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link, um, a link in by the end of this this presentation where you can click on. Now, what I want to show you on this free live webinar, right? I'm gonna show you the deals that I've done. I'm gonna show you how I started out buying the wrong properties at sheriff's auctions to going into buy to let to going into um, multi lets for nice cash flow, right? Doing bigger deals. You guys with me? To eventually buying blocks of flats. So that's what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you different deals that will also finance differently. Show you deals that will finance with a bank. Show you deals that will finance with Tough. I'm going to show you deals that will finance through JV Partners. I'll show you properties what I bought on credit cards. Now don't go buy a property on a credit card. Right? Um, but I'm going to show you all these deals. So I'm gonna, let's start with this one. So this is one... This is what I'm going to show you now on the on the free webinar. I'm going to show you all the other deals, right? And I'm going to show you where you can get started. And even if you already started and you do have a portfolio, how you can grow that portfolio. Okay. So this is a deal in Yakuruleni. Um, it was nine nine um, flat and retail at the bottom. So what I, what I did was is I converted this building to thirty one residential units, one beds, two beds, and bachelors. Okay. So I'll show you the before pictures, what it looked like before. Then I'm taking you through the construction. There was about a six a six month construction period where we converted this building. So I'm gonna take you through it and, and tell you what the challenges were and show you how I converted this building. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. That's what it looks like. Cool, eh? Check the colors out. Ha! Now this is in a Kuruleni, this is Boxburg. Remember, if you are in Boxburg, if you are in a Kuruleni and you drive past this building. Remember, it's mine. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take you through the numbers and show you, show you the numbers, show you the equity, show you how I got um, finance from 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 tough finance. This one, okay. So I'll show you. I'll show you how how I did that. Right? Will that be exciting, guys? And I'll show you how I did this with no money down, with none of my own money in this deal. A lot of time and effort, but no money down. Who'd like to see that? Okay. So as I said, by the end of the presentation, click on the link, get yourself on the webinar. And we'll take you through all the details. Now, some of you, right? I don't exactly know where you are right now. Some of you might want to start out with, with, with buying and selling. We call it flipping. Buying a, 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 a house or a townhouse or a flat and selling and making 80000 120000 210000 That's where I started. I started buying at Cheryl's Auctions. This was about eight years ago. I started buying these cheap properties, 170,000, 200,000, selling them for 400,000. Buying them for 250, selling them for 500,000. Buying them for 300,000, selling them for, for 500,000. That's where I started, and then I moved into the cash flow. But some of you might say, Leo, I want to get straight into cash flow. I'd, I'd like to get a 2,000 um, extra income, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000. Depending on where you are, we'll be able to help each one of you start where you are. Whether you are a beginner investor and you're just starting out, whether you're an experienced investor and you want to go from smaller deals to bigger deals or just do more volume and do more deals, okay? But everyone is going to start at a different place, but everyone is going to start, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Now, it doesn't take your money to make money. It just takes someone's money. Are you with me? I'm going to say that again. It doesn't take your money to make money. It just takes someone's money. Right? Whether it be the bank's money, okay? Whether it be, there's 52 banks in South Africa. Whether it be a boutique bank, whether it be your four big banks, whether it be SA Home Loans. Do you use a JV partner to come in? Do you use an angel investor? Right? Do you do creative deals? Do you do back-to-back -back seller finance? Um, Installment sale deals. Now that's what we're going to show you that a lot of people think that they look at the affordability and they look at the, the four big banks and SA Home Loans and they think that 
If they can't get a bond, they can't get into property. Now, what we're going to show you is I want to show you different ways that you can source finance in different ways that I did these deals. As I said, I went from buying a property on credit card, using a JV partner, using, using a bank like EPSA, and then using a bank like TUF. Right? No money down deals where I've, where I've bought and sold property not using any money at all. Those are the type of deals I want to take you through. Because the problem with most people is they think they don't have the money. But the solution is get the knowledge. Get the knowledge, get the skills, ladies and gentlemen. Because once you have that, then you can, then property becomes easier. And now you've got more tools in your tool, in your toolbox, okay? So rule number one in property, ladies and gentlemen, is you make your money when you buy. And I put this in twice because this is important. That you need to know how to run the numbers. Right? You need to know how to analyze an area if there's a demand in that area. So you make your money when you buy. You need to know whether you'll have tenants or whether you'll be able to sell it. So write that down. In property, you make your money when you buy. Okay, so on this free live webinar, right? Um, click on the link below, get yourself on it. What we're going to cover is common mistakes investors make. I'm going to take you through um, the three common mistakes investors make. I'm also going to take you through my mistakes. Now, I've done about over 30 deals in the last few years. Okay. And I'm going to take you through some of the mistakes, but, I, but I'm going to take you through some of the successes as well. Because there's been a few mistakes, but there's been a lot of success. So, I'm gonna, so what I want to do is I want you to avoid the mistakes. You don't have to make all the mistakes yourself. I've made the mistakes. Andrew Walker's made the mistakes. Dave McGlashan's made the mistakes. The Problem Academy, we've been investing for many years. So we know what works and what does not work. Property investment fundamentals. So we're going to take you through the fundamentals of property, right? Um, strategy area, property. We call it SAP. Running the numbers, how to work out a return on investment, gross yield, cash flow calculations, capital flip, right? You want to show you how to do that. Due diligence, as I said, on a due diligence on an area, see if there's a demand, what industries are there, what type of properties work there, family houses, one beds, two beds. Cash flow basics and creative funding strategies. As I said, how are you going to fund this property? Are you going to fund it with a bank? Do you have the affordability? Are you going to fund it with a JV partner, with an angel investor? Are you going to do a back-to-back -back flip? Are you going to do an installment sale agreement? Are you going to sell a finance? What are you going to do? Right? So I'm going to take you through deals where we finance them differently. Are you going to use a credit card to pay for, for the refurbishment? So that's what we're going to show you. How to make the big jump. And I'm going to show you how I made the jump from being a drug addict. I'll take you through that story as well to starting out buying the wrong properties and then buying better properties, buy two lets, multi lets, bigger flips, and then obviously bigger deals. And how I bought the wrong property twice, I'll take you, it's quite a funny story. I think I'm the only person in the world that has bought the wrong property twice. When I say wrong, I mean, I thought I was buying this house on this side of the street and I bought the house on the opposite side of the street. And I did that twice. So you want to come and listen to that. So guys, today's special, as I said, it's a free live webinar. It's a no-brainer. Get yourself on it. Click on the link below. Right? Get yourself on it. Okay? So guys, enjoy the rest of the event. We'll be here for two days. If you do have any questions, anything you're not sure about, you want to chat to us, we'll be in the Property Academy booth and the South African Property Investors Network booth. So we'll be here for two days. Come chat to us. We'd love to meet you. If you do have any questions, anything you're not sure about, um, any information that you need, we'll be here for two days. We're looking forward to meeting you. Enjoy the rest of the speakers. Enjoy the event. I know you'll find value, and I know you're going to learn a lot. God bless you, and happy investing. Cheers, guys.